The solid rubber tire is designed for off-road conditions such as construction sites, landfills, and warehouses. These areas are full of hazards that would flatten ordinary air-filled tires. But solid tires don't go flat, they just keep on turning. And that's a good thing on any job site. Solid rubber tires come in a variety of flavors and are ideal for heavy work due to their complex manufacturing process. It all starts with two-dimensional rubber, which is fed into a 3D printer, which converts it into three-dimensional rubber. The 3D rubber is melded into the beast from the chocolate episode, and then rolled into a mass known as the polished turd. Next, a local serial killer extracts the premium flesh from the rolled rubber, spinning it onto a steel base. Slices of rubber are taken off to be taste tested by the employees. The newly solid tire is broken in by being used as a pinata and then moved to the next stage. The tire is put into a mold, covered to prevent heat loss, and placed with many other tires onto a conveyor belt oven at about 350 degrees for one hour. Exiting the oven, the tires are shown to neighboring factories to display how well the business is doing, and then they're removed from their molds by hand. This tire is dead. The remaining tires are then coated in liquid rubber, which both helps seal in any remaining cracks and looks like straight up dookie. Workers spread the liquid rubber and then comb it to give the tires fashionable hairdos, just in time for the school dance. This tire tried to fight for equal rights, and must be euthanized. By now, so much of the processed rubber for the tire production has been wasted on trivial bullshit that this is all that remains. The small amount of rubber is poured into a wooden casing shaped like the finished product to prevent employees from wasting even more of the precious material. The wooden casing is then fashioned into a boat paddle, because no one ever thinks to look for treasure inside a boat paddle. The shop owner then fashions himself a second decoy boat paddle, in case someone, for some reason, thinks of looking for treasure inside a boat paddle. In Canadian, this logo means decoy, furthering the ruse. Finally, after a long aging process, the casing is broken open, revealing the finished tire. 